Good morning, students. Today we are going to read Chapter Three: Nazism and Rise of Hitler, Part Seven. Now let us talk about the origin of Nazi Party. In nineteen nineteen, Hitler joined a small group called German Workers Party. He subsequently took over the charge of the organization and renamed in the National Socialist German Workers Party. This party came. to be known as nazi party later and let, uh, let us talk about the nazi propaganda the nazi propaganda stirred hopes of a better future as he promised to the german people that what hitler wants to do for the germans hitler was a powerful and effective speaker his uh, he promised the people a strong nation where all would get employment his policies his politics included the significant rituals and spectacle in mass mobilization now let us see here the symbol of swastik in his army how disciplined his army was you can see here and he is a, a very good speaker we can see in this picture his confidence his passion Hitler understood the significance of rituals and spectacle in mass mobilization. He used the swastika symbol, red banners, pamphlets and ritualized rounds of applause to great effect during massive rallies. Nazi propaganda skillfully projected Hitler as Messiah, a savior. people started to think him that the hitler is here for ending their sufferings thank you next we will do in our next module